Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome to the class. Um, SD, can you please have a student to recite the prayer? Um, E7351. Um, e Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm sorry, there's quite a lot of feedback uh, on that student. I can give you a different one. Okay. Um, A7324. Oh, sorry, that student doesn't have one. One second, sorry. Um, A7326. A7326. A7326, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum, A7326. Um, okay. Can we instead have N8329? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Sam N eight three two nine. Um, would you like to huh? please South. Okay. I was a Bella Himina Shaitan Rajim. Excellent. One thing is because we are Wahia with the corn top, we have to prolong it. So I was a Bella. So for two seconds. Okay. Start from the beginning. Uh Billah Himanash Chaitan Rajim. Okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Rabbish Rahli Sadri. Vayasirli Amri. Excellent. Um overall very well done, but it's just uh prolong this for a bit longer. Then just two seconds. So four, maybe up to four seconds, please. Okay. Vaya Sirli Amri. Excellent. Translation, please. Lord, expand my mind and make my task easy for me. Excellent. Next one as well, please. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Yeah. Oh, okay. my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Well done. Continue. Allahumma inni as as Allahumma inni as 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 uh Asaluka il Okay. Uh, there's no ha sound at the end. Uh, I heard nafi ah. No, there's no ha sound. Um, you have to prolong it. So, Allahumma inni asaluka il manna fi ah. Okay. Oh, Allah. I ask you for beneficial knowledge. Indeed. And next one as well, please. Rabbi Alim Alim Mahuva Hiron Daka. Okay. So again, when we're pausing, we have to say Ain Dak. So the Fatha is replaced by a second sign. So when we're doing the work, okay? And what is this letter? Can you tell me the name of the letter? Alif. Excellent. And then we have Alif, as we have it here. We have to prolong it for two seconds, okay? Okay. Start again. Rabbi Alimni ma huwa khairun in duk. Excellent. The, uh, this was correct. One thing, Lam has shut down top, so we have to emphasize this letter. So, Rabbi Alimni, not al Alimni, okay? We've emphasized on the Lam. Rabbi Alimni. Okay. Try. Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Alimni. Well done. Read the translation as well, please. Oh, my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Excellent. And finally, the last one, please. Rabbana, the couple minna. 
Our Lord, accept this from us, for you are all hearing, all knowing. Good. Accept from us. Okay, good. Um, Jazakumullah, that was N8, 3 to 9? Yep, N8, 3 to 9. Jazakumullah, uh, now, uh, can I please have TA to please kindly uh, present the class etiquette? Yep, assalamu alaikum. Waalaikumsalam. So now in this G2 online HIFS class, you have to follow certain etiquettes. Make sure that before the class you have performed Razul. It is also very important that your head is covered throughout the classes, especially for the chronic recitations. You are requested to have revised your previous lesson and completed your homework, so you're ready for your next class. It's important that you sit with an adult so they can assist and monitor you and your progress. Also, make sure that your audio and especially your video is turned off unless the teacher unmutes you. It's very important that you log in with your correct ID that was assigned to you prior to the beginning of these classes. Now, during the lesson, you all are requested to listen attentively to the class and don't move away until the class is finished. You are also requested to keep your hands down unless the teacher requests you to raise hands. After the class, you are requested to revise and go through all your previous lessons and complete the homework you are given at the end of the class. Jazak Mullah. Jazak Jazak um, So now, today, yesterday we completed Surah Deen, the from verse number seven till the end, verse number nine. Now we're going to revise the whole surah at once, okay? So first of all, I'll recite it and then I would um, choose a student to recite after me as well, okay? So first of all, Ta'ud. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wattini wazzaytun Waturi sinin Wahadha al-Balad al-Ameen Laqad khalaqna al-insan fi ahsan taqweem Thumma radadnahu asfal safileen Illa alwazina amanu wa amilu salihati falahum ajrun ghayru mamnu Fama yukazibu ka ba'du biddin Alaysa Allahu bi ahkamil hakimin Okay, Jazakumullah. Uh, now, can I please have a student to recite after me, please? Um, can I have A7304? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Sam. Can you hear me? Can you hear me properly? Yes. Okay. So now I recite verse by verse. And can you please recite after me, okay? Okay. okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wattini wazzaytun Wattini wazzaytun Waturi sinin Waturi sinin Wahadha al-Balad al-Ameen Okay, one thing that this ha sound should be a simple ha sound, uh, not like this ha. Okay, this ha is different. This should come from the middle of your throat, and this ha should be just a, a simple ha sound. Okay, wahada, not 
Waha, okay, not from your middle of the third, okay? okay. Try Waha, the Baladil Amin. Waha, so, okay, that's fine. Let's move on. Lakad falakna al insan fi ahsani taqweem. Lakad falakna al insan fi ahsani taqweem. Excellent. Just make sure that you prolong fi for a bit longer. Okay. 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 So let's continue. Thumma radadna hu asfal safilin. Thumma radadna hu asfal safilin. Excellent. And now you must have noticed that the meme sound. I gave the nasal sound because the, there's a meme letter, and we have shadda on top. Okay. So nasal sound and the sa sound. Is uh, you make the tha sound by taking your tongue out and touching your upper teeth and then saying the letter sa. So thum. Okay. And well done for uh, giving a jerk to this letter. Why do you think you have to give a jerk to this letter? A7340, do you know? A7340, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Why do you think we have to give a jerk to this letter? Uh, is it because we are doing curricula with it? Excellent. It's a curricula letter. So we have to give a jerk. So well done for doing that. Let's move on. Illalladheena amanu wa amilu salihati falahum ajrun gairu mamnoon. Okay. Because this whole verse is uh, a bit longer, and I understand that sometimes we can uh, become short of breath, what we can do is we can stop as at Wa'amilu Salihat. We can stop here, and then we can start from Wa'amilu Salihat again uh, and finish the, the, the verse, okay? Okay. That's easier. Okay. Let's move on. Fama you kazibuka baadu biddin. Fama you kazibuka baadu biddin. Excellent. Alayhi sallahu bi ahkamil hakimin. Alayhi sallahu bi ahkamil Once more. Alayhi sallahu. Okay. Bi ahkamil hakimin. Bi ahkamil hakimin. Excellent. Well done. So that was A7340. Jazakumullah. Uh, um, so now we have finished our lesson for today. Uh, I'll just make a breakout room now. Okay. TA, can I please have students for breakout room? Um, the students are N8320. N8320, yes. N8321. Yep. A7309. Yes. A7310. A7310, yes. Yes, and um, A7306. Uh, A7306. Um, yeah. That's all, yep. Mm. And I'll send the TA into the breakout room. And... Okay, that's all done. Nizakula. Um, now we move on to our revision lesson. So, can I please have students for revision lesson, please? Uh, can I have A7301? Okay, A7301, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Okay, A7301, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu 
Is he unmuted? He was previously, he's now muted. A7301, would you like to unmute yourself, please? Um, okay, we'll go on to the next student. Can I have um, N8311? We have N8311, yes. Yes, and she's doing um, Surah al Ghashiyah, verse 21, and Surah al Duha, verse 5. Just for Surah al Ghashiyah, verse 31? No, 21. 21, sorry, yes. And Surah al Duha, verse 5. So from verse 5? Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, Assalamu alaikum and it's 311. Assalamu Sam. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, do you know Surah Al Ghashia from to, uh, verse 21 onwards? Um, I've, I've learned it once. So I've just practiced the mistakes, but I haven't um, continued to learn it properly. But do you remember some of it? I I know it up to I think twenty two. Worse than so which one? I can't hear you. Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, but no, not more than that. Okay. Um, how about let's start from the beginning. Okay, or let's sorry, yeah. let's start from worse number 10 okay i'll tell you the first word for uh, verse number 10 and then you can start from that is that all right okay okay so from thousand tasmiya then we'll you have to recite from which is okay 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 so from verse number 10 Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, E Jamnet in Alia, let us know Fi Halaria, Fi 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 That's it? Um, yes. Okay. Okay, well done. Um, just a few mistakes. Um, for example, here, what sign is on top of uh, ta? Um, so it's fatha? Uh, fata? Yeah, fata. So then we have to pronounce it as tasma'u. So la tasma'u. And you pronounce it as la tusma'u. Okay? So there's no dhamma on ta. There's fatha. Just make sure that when you're reciting it, you uh, uh, make sure that um, you don't mispronounce the letters. So letters, yeah. So instead of tu, it's ta. Just uh, make sure that. And... What so when we have wa here, we have to prolong it. So ma Okay. Okay. Um, so it's ta. And what is on top of alif? Um, madda. Excellent. And that's madda kabir specifically. Therefore, we have to prolong it for how much? How longer? 
Four seconds. Yeah, so four to six seconds. So you didn't do that, okay? So just make sure that it is clear that this there is madhik uh, madhik kabi on top of alif, and that's why you're prolonging it for uh, long, okay? So wa ilas sama ikay farufiat. Wa ilas sama ikay farufiat. Excellent. Well done. Okay, uh, I actually forgot what you did here wrong. So how would you pronounce to start um, beside the whole words? Start from here. Okay, that's correct. Okay, good. Well done. And here, in it's in again. We have to so we have to prolong it for this time. How many seconds? Forty-six. Uh, no, that's Madhya Sagir. That's a smaller um, mud. Three seconds. Yeah, minimum three seconds. Okay. So make sure you do that. So start from in Nama. Sorry, start from the beginning. For the Sagir. For Sagir in Nama and Sagir. Okay. Again, wasn't prolonged for longer. Um, so just make sure that you do that. Uh, but one thing, we have a small tour. Yeah, I, I just can't seem to highlight that. The small tour, like, you can see this? Yeah. Yeah, so this means that we have to do a vakfia and then we can continue. So I put that here, just stop for the two second break and then start from Innama again, okay? Okay. Um, so you know on the worst up to verse number 22. I'll note that down. And one second. Okay. Do you know Surat Buha by heart? Um, I only know five verses. Okay, so you have it memorized further? Um, not yet. I'm going to memorize it tomorrow. Inshallah, okay. So make sure you do that. Okay, otherwise you'll be behind lesson. Jazakumula, that was uh, N8311. Jazakumula. Now, can I please have another student? Um, next student is um, A7308. Aslam alaikum. And it's Surah Al Inshira. Okay, Surah Al Inshira. Welcome, Islam. Do you know Surah Al Inshira by heart? No. No? Okay, so make sure you learn it now, okay? Um, we also have another student, uh, A7317, alongside um, A7308. Um, could we choose that as the next student? Um, and he'll be doing Alpine. Okay. Yeah, he's coming. He's downstairs. I I'm just, I'll go call him. Yeah, why are you not attending the class? He went to the toilet. Okay. Um, in the meantime, um, we'll skip. We'll come back to the student. Um, can we, uh, the uh, the next student is N8308 with Al Ghashia. N8308. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam. Do you know Surah Al Ghashia by heart? Huh? Do you know Surah Al Ghashia by heart? Um, no. No? no. Um, <clears throat> Ashlam's verse 15 as well. Which one, sorry? Ashams verse 15 onwards. Okay. So N8308, do you know Surah Ashams by heart? From verse number eight, uh, 15 it was? Um, yeah. So you know that. Okay. Uh, let's go to Surah Ashams. Yes. Huh? Okay. So you have last words to go for Surah Ashams. Do you, have you memorized that? Um, yeah, sometimes I forget the stuff I remember, so, um. You wanna, okay, let's start uh, from verse number 10, okay? And let's go up, uh, up to the end. Which one's verse number 10? Okay, yep, start from uh, down the same and then the verse number 10 is Qad Aflaha. Okay. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Okay, well done. So you do know the words, the last words, so well done. A um, few mistakes. Uh, let me just point that out. How would you pronounce this letter? Tha. Yeah, excellent. That's correct. Um, and this ka, and this ka, is different when we. Um, so the way the sound should be different. So when you said zakka you pronounced uh, you pronounce this letter, as in the sound of this letter. When it's this ka is just simple ka. Okay, and this off is when we round it, okay? Just make sure that you know the difference between this calf and this off. And then, secondly, um, thirdly, sorry, um, we have Alif with Madisazir, so we have to prolong it for at least three seconds. Okay, just make that clear as well. Okay. And lastly, when you said this, you said, you said Fakaz Zabat. That was Fakaz Zabuhu. Oh, okay. Okay. So, otherwise, Jazakumila, that was good. And I'm just not sure. Both them. Okay. Jazakumila, N8308, Jazakumila. Um, can we have the student that we were supposed to have before? That was A7317. What's your alpine? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Waikum Uh Is that A7317? Yes. Okay. Um. So sorry. What? So where was it? Uh, at the. Okay. Um. So a seventy one seven. Do you know Surat Din by heart? Um. Only two words six. Two. Okay. Up to words number six. Okay. You can start. You can start, and we'll see how much you know. Okay. Okay. But don't recite from the uh, by, by looking at the screen. Yes. Uh, okay. لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تكوين ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just recite one more time, please. Just one more time. Okay. Always start from Bismillah. Bismillah. Wattini wa zaytuni wa turi si wa turi sini na faz al balad al amin. Lakad khalak na al insan fi ahsan taqwim. Summa radadna wa sfal safilin. Okay. Uh, one thing it's better to stop at the places where the verses end. Because in this way, you would not be, you would not run out of breath, okay? Okay. So this is better to stop at these verses. Uh, secondly, um, fi, we have madisagir, so just make sure that you make it clear that you're prolonging it for uh, three seconds. So fi, so three seconds, okay? It sounded like two or one second. Um, and again, we have vajikul fatha here. So how, how long do you think we should, should two prolong? Seconds. Two seconds. So safili. Okay, safili. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jazakumla A7317. Jazakumla. Can it, we have another student now, please? The next student is um, A7301 um, with um, Al-Ala verse 15. Okay. A7301. Assalamu alaikum. 
A seventeen zero one. Can you hear me? Not being unmuted. Um, can we go to N eight three one two? N three one two. One second, please. One, two, and I guess the worst, or uh, what? Uh, Russia, so Russia verse seven. Verse seven, okay. And if you want to, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. Um, so have you, have you uh, memorized for Russia from verse number seven onwards? Oh, sorry. And if you want to? Yes. So Russia from verse number seven onwards? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we'll go to Swargashia. And okay. Here we are. So verse number seven. Okay. So would you like to start from verse number eight then? So La Yusminu. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Fiha sarurun garu'a wa akwabun mawdu'a wa namarikun kusa wa zara biyumakta afala yanzuruna ila al-ibali kayfa kulikat wa ila samai kayfa rufiat وَإِلَى الْجِبَارِ كَيْفَ نُفِيَتْ وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ نُفِيَتْ فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرٌ لَسْتَ إِلَيْنَا هِبِنْ سَيْتِرٌ That's how much I know. Sorry? That's how much I know. Okay. Well done. Still, uh, it was up to verse number 23. So well done for that. And just make sure you memorize the recipe as well, okay? Okay. Uh, one thing uh, is that, um, so wherever there were uh, places where you had to um, prolong it for two seconds, for example, um, fiha, it was very unclear. It it's it seemed like as if you were prolonging it, but at the same time, it was the opposite as well. So just make sure that you make it clear. So fi ha ai. So we have to prolong it for two seconds. Mau. Okay. Just okay. make sure that even pronouncing it. Just make sure you do it for two seconds, and then because we have shada here, we have to give emphasis. Okay. So was a was a was a biju. Okay. Just make that clear too. Okay. And one thing at the end where, so again, we had small toe here, so we have to do a work here, and then we have to continue, okay? So for the kid, hold for two seconds, then in number, uh, okay? So this is our and the I in this sounded like you said, ilayhim, but this ilayhim, the fatha on top of ayin, okay? Okay. So this was um, N8310, sorry. Okay, uh, now can we have a different student? Um, can we, N8303, um, with Surah Al-Ala, verse 11. Surah Al-Ala, verse 11. Okay. N8303, Assalamu Alaikum. N8303. She is unmuted. Okay, let's, she's not responding. Let's go to another student, please. Uh, N eight three zero five with verse um sorry with Sul Atin. Assalamualaikum. 
One can find it at three zero five. Uh, do you know Suratin Barhat? Yes. Excellent. Well, very well done. Let's go to Suratin. And okay, yeah, you can start from Ta'awud and Tasmiya. A'uzu billahi min A'uzu billahi min Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا من الشهات فلهم أجر غير ممكن فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأكبر الهاتفين Excellent. Very well done. That was very well done. Uh, one thing is because if for this, this surah, we revised it today. So we see that we have lots of um, Kalka letters. Would you please like to point them out? You can look at the screen. Um, Lakad. Excellent. So Dal, well done. Duck. Sorry, which one? Duck. Uh, yep. Yeah. Good. Um, Even if it's the same one again, you can point that out. Radadana. Excellent. This done. That's it. Yes. So there's one more coffee. Okay. So I, what I noticed was well done for giving a jerk to every single one. The, uh, they are the calculated letters. So they you meant to give uh, a jerk. So laqad khalaqnal taqwin. Okay. So very well done for that. Um, and then the ayn san was very well done as well. So well done for that. And otherwise, overall, the, the pronunciation was very good. Um, so well done. And at 305, I will just give you a mark. Okay, Jazakumullah, uh, Jazakumullah, and at 305. Uh, can I have another student now, please? Uh, the next student is N8310, um, Surah Inshira. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum, I don't know in Surah Inshira. <laughs> Right, Ms. Dam, okay. Do you want to insurance? Make sure that you memorize that, okay? Okay. Yeah. Zach, uh, can you have someone else now, please? Um, the next uh, student is uh, N8314. Um, Surah Shams, verse 12. Assalamu alaikum. N8314. Uh, wa alaikum assalam. Okay, it was verse 12, did you say? Uh, yes, verse 12. Yeah, okay. Um, so, Anit 314, do you know Surah Shams from verse number 12 onwards? Um, no. No? You haven't memorized it? Uh, because I only did up to verse 12, like, yesterday, and I only recited it yesterday, so okay. I okay. haven't had a chance to do more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but um, it's just that we had ho the whole day, right? Just make sure that you're doing some kind of vision um, in all the day that you have. But anyways, that's that's fine. Uh, that's not a problem. Do you know Swati in my heart? And at 314, do you know Swati in my heart? Um, no, not yet. Okay, no problem. Okay, Jazakumullah. Uh, someone else, please. Um, NA316. Um, Surah Al-Ala, verse 10. Okay, and at 306, uh, 316. Hello? Yes. All okay? 
No, only up to verse 10 still. Okay. So you know that Surah Ala was the second surah that we did? Yes. The lesson that we did. So that was the second lesson, second surah. Let's so, make sure we're really behind, okay? So just make sure that you finish that surah and let's move on to the next surahs. Okay. All right. Let's stop with the lessons, please. Okay. Okay. Enough. Uh, so, Zakmullah, I expect that next time you know Swell Ala by heart, all of it. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we can have someone else. Please. And the next student is N eight three one seven with Surah Al Fashia from verse five, Ashams and Al Insha. This one again. Why come Sam? So there was Swell Ala. Uh, so Ala. There was. Um. Yeah. Surah Al Fashia verse five. Surah Shams and Surah, Surah Inshira. Okay, and it, do you want to tell me Surah Gashira from verse number five onwards? No. no. So do you know Surah Shams by heart? Do you know Surah Shams by heart? Some of it. Sorry? Some of it. Some of it, okay. How about we try reciting that, okay? Okay, try reciting it without looking at the screen, please. وَالشَّمْسِ وَالْقَمَرِ وَالْقَمَرِ زَرْقَهَا وَالنَّهَارِ زَلَّهَا وَالْلَيْلِ وَالْسَّمَاءِ وَمَا Wama <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Do you, do you know up to verse number seven uh, correctly? Okay. I know that most of you guys are doing from verse number one till seven. Um, so far, it was, it was good. Well done. Yep. Just a few points that um, this has been said many times. So, noon with Shadda. So, what do you think we need to do here? You need to... So we need to do a nasal sound, okay? So one nahari. One nahari. Okay, well done. Uh, what's on top of a leaf? Okay. It's Madeka beer, okay? Okay. We have to run it for at least four seconds to see, uh, six seconds. Um, okay, that's fine. So, Jazak Mulanet 317, that was fine. Um, was there any other surah that he has to do? Um, it's N8317, that's as Shams and Al Inshira. Okay. Um, so, N8317, do you know Surah Al Inshira by heart? She's near to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I hit you Do you know so what insure by heart? I don't know it yet. Okay, no problem. So the, therefore your homework would be to learn source shams, so the whole to shoot source shams and uh catch up with the other surahs, okay? Okay. Exactly. Okay. So now give me a second.
Okay. Um, uh, so now uh, what I'll do is that, can I have two students at the same time? One will recite and the other one will um, uh, observe and then tell the student the mistakes that he or she did instead of me telling that. Um, yeah, can I have N831A? Yeah. So let's confirm for minute 318 if she knows the sooners first. So what's your other chat to do? Uh, sorry, in the surah you're asking, who is surah al-ala? Surah al-ala, okay. And at 318, assalamu alaikum. Um, I can't unmute. Um, can I have um, A7330? Uh, one second, A7330, yes. For what? Uh, surah Rashi, mm -hmm. verse 7. Verse 7. A7330, assalamu alaikum. A7330, can you hear me? Okay, I don't think so. Let's move on to the next one, please. N8330. Assalamu alaikum. Abduha. Okay. Uh, do you know Surah Duha by heart? Yeah. That's very well done. Let's go to Surah Duha. Here we are. Okay. You can start reciting, but without looking at the screen, please. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, one second. Uh, can I have an assistant, please, for observing? And it is there. Uh, sorry, you need another student, yeah? Yes. Uh, A7333. Uh, okay. A7333, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. So now your task will be um, to point out the mistake. I will highlight the mistakes, but you have to tell what mistake uh, NH330 made, okay? Okay. Okay, so just pay attention, okay? So, so NH330, you can start. Ha'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman ar-Rahim Wadduha wal-layli idha kaja Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma kala Walal akhiratu khayrun laka min al-ula Walal sawfa yutika rabbuka fatarda Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa wa wajadaka dalam wa wajadaka wa ilam fa'awna fa'amal yatima falatakhar wa amasa ila falatanhar wa amma bini mati rabbika fahaddis Okay, that's all very well done. Okay, so that's our mistake. Luckily, there is one mistake that she did. So, A7C33, what did she do? Um, I think that she didn't put it on yet. Yeah, so how would she have... Sorry, one second. Okay, so how should she pronounce this? So how would you do it correctly? Ma... Excellent. So we have only for two seconds, okay? Um, and it is your uh, three to zero. So have to only for two seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, the other places that the ma came, for example, wama, you did prolong it. It was just this one odd case, okay? Um, it was very well done. However, the sum of the, the stuff that we have been telling from the start are not followed. So, for example, the meme with shut down top. So I want to ask A7333, how would she, should she have um, recited this letter, or this word, sorry? Um, yep, so, um, spells are well done, so we have to do a nasal sound. Similarly here, we have the same word, um, 
فَأَمَّا Okay, so because some of us have already uh, memorized this and it may not have been with the correct pronunciation or we may not have known about this rule of Hunnas. Okay, so we should always go back and look at the each word separately and um, visualize what uh, what signs there are uh, or what rules apply, okay? So in this case, in this word, we know that we have meme with Shadda, so we have to do nasal sound. So we, and then we know that there is Madhya Kabir, so you have to prolong it for at least four seconds. Okay? So you have to question yourself, okay, in this verse, what signs do they have? And therefore you have to follow the signs as, um, correctly as well. So, and in 7333, how would you pronounce this letter? The sound, what's the sound of this letter? Ah. So start from, uh, start from Wa'amma and then read the whole verse. وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَدِ رَبِّكَ فَهَدِّسْ Okay, good. Well done. Um, and this letter, how would you pronounce it? I've told many times the method of, of, of pronouncing this correctly. So what do you think, how do you think you should pronounce this letter? A T H sound. Yep, so how would you, so I've told, how, how would you move your tongue to make sure that your, the sound gets correct? Put your tongue on the uh, top row of your teeth. Excellent, well done. So first, you have to take your tongue out and then touch your upper teeth. And then say, sa. Sa. The fahad this. Fahad this. Excellent. So N it three three zero. There's one other letter that we have to pronounce it uh, uh, in the same, same, same manner. So do you know what the other letter is? Um, no. A seven three three three. Do you know? Um, is it seen? No. Or is it sword? No. So for the other letter, we also have to take our tongue out and touch up uh, our upper teeth and then pronounce the letter. Because there are two, the two letters that are uh, un uh, they pronounced incorrectly. Wait, I feel I might know it. Mm -hmm. Is it the? Yes, it's the, the. So let's look for that letter. Here we go. Either. Okay. 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 So let's look at some other rules to be mindful of. Okay, here. Uh, and it seems to be though you did pronounce this very uh, correctly, so that was fine. But just pronounce. Just uh, read this whole verse again, so we know how you pronounce this uh, this word. Wawajadaka dalan fahada. Excellent. So we are so we are pro uh, prolonging it, but then we also have the lamb with the shdeed, shut down top. So therefore we have to also emphasize the lamb. Okay. So we have to stop at the lamb and then give it emphasis. So that's why um, it's dolan. Okay. So emphasis on the lamb. Uh, is important as well, as well as prolonging the zor. So that was very well done. Okay. Okay. One more thing. When is it? Um, so any of you can answer. And it's three three zero o a seven three three three. So yes, it is on Tuesday that one girl said. Uh, okay, I'm not going to tell you that because that that will get give it away. So. Um, would you, how would you pronounce Bismillah? So how would you pronounce it? Uh, anyone, so any of you do you want to um, read this verse? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so what did you do here? So in Meem and Lam. I um, did the Allah rule. Sorry? I did the Allah rule. I, I didn't quite get that. I did the Allah rule. So what did you, did you prolong it? 
Um, I prolonged it and um. Uh, Are you saying that you thickened the? Yeah, I thickened the. Um, okay. So A seven P P three. Do you think that's correct or that's incorrect? That's incorrect. Okay. Why do you think that's incorrect? Um, because you only do the other rule when it's the amount of fatter. Excellent. Well done. Very well done. A seven P P three. Impressive. So N eight P three zero. Okay. Whenever we have fatha or dhamma, okay, then we uh, thicken the. Uh, so then we say bismil. Um. So obviously we don't have um fatha on top, so I can't pronounce it as having fatha. But only then do we thicken the lam. Okay. Only then we we thicken the. So Allah. But now because we have kasra on meme, um. So before that, so let's before lam we have meme, yeah. Bismillah. Okay, we're not thinking the letter. We're not thinking the law, Allah. Okay? Okay. Just keep that in mind. Only then when we have fatha or uh, Dhamma, as correctly pointed out by A733. So, where is that? What's this? Uh, Dr. Nasi, now can I have a student to recite um, the prayer after Tilabit? Um, can I have A7334? Yep, A7334. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Sam. That's A7334. That's, um, N that's NH334. Are you okay. go ahead go ahead with NH334. Okay, NH334. That's fine. Um, okay. So before I just uh, before the prayer, we'll just I'll just give you the homework. So therefore, your homework would be chapter uh, to uh, memorize the correct pronunciation, chapter ninety-five, which is Surah Thin, Surah Thin, okay. Uh, but also chapter number one, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, ninety-one, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, and you know how each time uh, after each lesson, this list is growing, okay. So you need to make sure that you are covering the previous chapters correctly. Um, uh, you're memorizing them correctly, okay. So. Now we can go to our prayer. So N eight three three four, can you please start reciting? As Billah Mina Shaitanu Raji Mismillahu Rahmanu Rahim Allahum Marhamni Bil Quranil Azim. Oh Allah have mercy on me through the great Quran. Waj al holy imam. And make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Excellent, well done. Um, indeed, but just one thing. Uh, again, we have Madisagi here, so prolong it for three seconds. Okay. Other than that, that was well done. Um, and then we'll end with this last prayer. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul alim. O oh Allah, accept this effort and service from us, for you are the most hearing, the most knowing. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.